Hello everyone, in the last episode, we went into the room of requirement and found out how to get here, so now it's time for us to talk to Professor Weasley and finish out our room of coming requirements. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. Yeah, I did. Yeah, to go back to Where can I find the resources I need? While well, resources off. such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Definitely, because I've been collecting those resources constantly. Can by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, hmm. interesting. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find Bye. them familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used. To study magical plots and brew potions in class. I can even change the color? So there's default, black, blue, green. I'll probably be keeping green because I'm Slytherin. Purple, red, white, and yellow. Well, I'm fine with this color. And now it's time for Herbology, which I will also be using in a cell trick one as well. Perfect. Well, right there. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Yeah, I'll be keeping these. Let's see. Utilities. A desk of description. I can. Oh, can I change colors? Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know its every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. So, I sure literally only in here if I need anything. Thank you. Good well, I'll be speaking with Deke. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes, let me learn everything. Oh my gosh, the trans... The thing doesn't show in this map. I'm ready for the next lesson. Very well. You can acquire it by vanishing. I've already... I was about to say, like, I've already gotten I have the moonstone you requested. Good. You can conjure more. Conjuration can be used. Why don't you try it? On the walls and floors. Come and see me as soon as you... Oh, yay! I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Conjure I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Well, I've learned officially every spell whenever it comes to 
conjuring things. Just aim your wand at any. Let me put altering in for. And perform the altering spell to customize it. It says I can affect the floor. Why won't it let me change the floor? Oh! Well, I guess that's what it means. I'll keep this green for right now. I've already changed the color. Adjust the styles. Everything is it going to change into gothic? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing rooms of ambiance. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh wow! This is nice. I actually like this. Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank I've you, Professor. A good bit about the room a whole is bunch full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this moonlit ambience is very pretty. I'm just in awe. I'm gonna be spending a while decorating this place. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have said. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use. Thank you, Professor. Spellcraft. Good. I'll leave you to. Well, again, definitely will be changing things. Sorry for not talking so much. I've been really busy, like, working out how to make this place look very nice. So how I'm going to be able to acquire all these things is I'm going to J. Pippin's Potions. Welcome back. Well, I've just teleported to this area, and I'm going to be getting stuff from The Magic Neep and from J. Pippin's Potions. So I'll definitely be able to buy the things I need. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, I will be buying these so then I can unlock my, my ability to get these things. But at least I'll be able to sell things. I'll be keeping that. That's too good. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. I don't know where I'm supposed to get... Maybe that thing that's there is giving me a hint. I'll check the map. 
Ah, uh, yes. Right there. That stuff matches. So, I'll see you guys whenever I get there. I've not yet been to this store. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. Um, I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Okay. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cat. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Except, of course, for curses. And mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting. Someone died here? Um, I don't want to ask that question. Say. Well, let's see we show you some of what's available. Now, I'm supposed to be buying a mandrake. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young a one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you go far. Oh, man, I can't this buy is, these. Well, I'd say you can't even afford a detony seed. One tiny seed. How dare you? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. So I've used... Oh, I didn't even need a venomous tentacula. All I needed was a mandrake. I just wasted 800 coins. Oh, acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Well, we already knew I'm blind. Or at least I did. Well, it's time to go to J. Pippin's Potions and get that thing I need from Professor Sharp. Might as well get that quest all collected right now. Come on in. Healing potions of a speciality here, should you need any. Potion. Oh, I would love to be able to buy these. So that I don't have to buy this. So I need... Okay. I feel bad. I hope I to see you see... again. Focus well, Maxima and Endurus. Focus Maxima Endurus. A wise decision. Thank you. I don't even have enough money for that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to sell these things. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. What else did I need? I hope to see you again. So well I got focus. Now. Anything else? I still need Maxima and Endurus. So I've got focus. I need Maxima and... Where's the Endurus potion? Oh, I can just find Ashwinder egg somewhere. So I just really need Maxima. So how much money is that? What can I do for you today? How much money for Maxima potion? 300. I'm 20 away. Okay, I'm going to go ahead I hope and to see you again. Uh, get rid of some now. gear. Finally have enough for the Maxima potion I need. A wise decision. Thank you. I've spent all of my money. So now I just need to go find some Ashwinder eggs, which I'll be using my broom for. So I will see you once I found some. Because I finally found some Ashwinder eggs. After a long time of searching, I found one. I don't know how many is needed for a Endurance potion. I wish I had not used that one on accident. But maybe since it's around some uh, since I've seen them, seen that one, there must be more somewhere. Well, I found more. They're right near a very not safe area, I would say. At least I found more. Rebellion. Well, that was easy. They didn't even try and attack me. Again, that terrifies me to hear that every single time. Yeah, so I think I found enough Ashwander eggs, so I guess I'll just fly back to Hogwarts, and if I find any, I'll be sure to use it. The I'm back, and I need the only potion I can do. An Endurance potion. 
I have 30 seconds, so I'll be back in 30 seconds. I've got the Ender's Potion I need, and I'm going to start brewing Wig and Weld. Because never know whenever you might need those, but I'm going to be looking in my inventory after I collect this Wig and Weld Potion. Well, I mean, I guess I can look here. So I have an Endurus, a Maxima, and a Focus Potion. This time I'm not going to be stupid. <laughs> So I need to take care of all of those in a battle. So I will be going into the, the Forbidden Forest. And well, that'll be it for today's episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I will see you all in the next one where we will be doing Professor Sharp's and Professor Garlic's extra class assignments.